Welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we're ranking top 10 Arturo Thunder Gotti best knockouts. Number 10. Arturo Gotti vs Cristino Suero. On June 20, 1993, Gotti beat Cristino Suero by knockout at 155 in round 3 of 8. Fast. Likes to get busy in a hurry does Gatti. And he starts with a ripping left to the stomach of Suero. Horton trying to put himself in position for a world title shot. See Gatti up and down. You really have a chance to take away his will if you can jump on him early. Suero, 132 pounds. Here in Atlantic City and Arturo Gatti trying to get win number 10 in his pro career in the white trunks against Cristino Suero of New York City. It's the left hand of Gatti. Good left hand by Gaddy. You know what I find curious? A good right hand in the first round and has been coming at him in such a way that perhaps would concern Gaddy about a cut. The uppercuts ought to be there for Gaddy pretty soon. There's an uppercut, Dave, as you called it, as clean as Gaddy would have liked. He threw it from a longer distance than he would have liked, and that one, he got in real tight. Now, it's a knockdown. Swirl was motioning like it was a low blow, but it was a left hook. Wicked shot. And that is it. Arturo Gatti. Number 9. Arturo Gatti versus Sarek Jakubowski. On April 29, 2000, Gatti beat Eric Jakubowski by TKO at 0-40 in round 2 of 10. And Gatti starts off conservatively as Jakubowski died. Now he takes a left hand to the body and is willing for a moment to stand to throw with Gatti. And Jakubowski gets in two. Well, that's a mistake Gamash made. Box him and stay out of that fight. Two good body shots by Gotti. Gotti and Ivan Robinson, we used to say he started swelling coming out of the dressing room. And then, oh, he's going down to the body. Yeah, and now Fish he's going to set up, set up upstairs shots with those body shots. Run and jab, run, jab, run, jab. Now Jakubowski starting to bunch his elbows at Rick's, or at the uh, rip side. And oh, those body punches have been so damaging now. Right hand lands, Jakubowski momentarily drops his hands. Gotti steps in. And Eric shows he's got a little bit of professional skill. Jakubowski to stay down, but he wants to come out for the second round. And he will. Even like his corner told him this time. Good, keep moving. Don't do that, just keep moving. Number 8. Arturo Gatti vs. Roman Smolenkov. On March 9, 1995, Gatti beat Roman Smolenkov by knockout at 2.15 in round 1 of 10. Can it make a very scherp boxer? No, it's break off again. What can there be? Smolenkov. Hard door, heel hard. Smolenkov, zwaar in de problemen al in de eerste ronde. Als ik Smolenkov was, ging ik even op de knie zitten, even een beetje naar lucht happen. Roman Smolenkov, eigenlijk volgens verwachting. En dit redt de rust nooit. Hij heeft gelijk. Het is over een sluiting maar. Arturo Gatti. Number 7. Arturo Gatti vs. Feliciano Correa. On July 11, 1996, Gatti beat Feliciano Correa by knockout at 2.05 in round 3 of 10. The quickness in Gatti's hands. Another left hook to the body, so... Um, it, it seems that this is, is a night that we have some of the best. The guy who's aggressive, likes to be a fresher fighter, will that work for or against them against Scott? To Jersey City and now living down the Jersey Shore, managed by Pat Lynch. Minutes to go in round one. 
body blow by Arturo Gotti. First body punch was very effective against this guy. Overhand right by Gatti. And, uh, solid body blow there employed by Gatti, and then he goes upstairs. Nice combination. Ooh. Absolutely. Here he comes back with another left hook shot. Just take the fight out of any individuals. Oh, a big left right. hook upstairs. Rock Korea. Another one. I think you want to get caught up in a situation if you're fighting Gatti where you're where you're locked in a corner. Surf side this ring. Gotti goes to the body and gets another knockdown. Three, four, five, That's why they call him Thunder. I don't think so. That's it. Number six. Artur Gotti versus Gabriel Rulas. On October 4, 1997, defending IBF Junior Lightweight title Gotti beat Gabriel Rulas by TKO at 2.22 in round 5 of 12. Actually, Ruelas may be winning these rounds. He's landing a great number of punches here. Larry Ott. Yeah, Gabe is landing a, a, a number of punches here. Old Gotti this early. Gotti landing two right hands over the top as Ruelas left. Quick left hook inside by Gotti. Chin. Now Ruelas allows one to wander low, and the right hand lands for Gotti. The land. the chest by Gotti. That Gotti was something like a gat. You know, they used to call the gat. Good combination by Arturo Gotti. Into this stanza, and it is vicious. And uh, Gotti has a cut under his left eye now. Uh, that left uppercut is a vicious weapon for Gabe Rattles here tonight. But look at the combinations from Gotti. This is his fight. This is what makes God. Left eye. Oh, there are. Low blow by Gotti. Estevez says keep him up. Right hand lands over the top. Oh, that goes Willis. I don't think he'll make it back. Two but he quick is right hand shots by Gotti. Seven. Monster shots. And a Nine. swollen Gabe Willis gets up. And it's Estevez over. says no more. Number five. Artur Gotti versus Jesse James Leah. On January 29, 2005, defending WBC Super Lightweight title got he beat Jesse James Leah by knockout at 148 in round 5 of 12. Good uppercut. Rare the great featherweight. Good right now, hand by Gaddy. Not coming much when he's a warrior. There's the same counter right. Gaddy into the rolling mode. Gaddy landing the jab over and over. Gaddy left hook upstairs. A good shot. The guy likes to fight. That's his only chance because he's not going to win this fight. And Leha is dazed. But he lands a left hook that momentarily backs Gatti off. Now Gatti's left hook lands again and, and it, again. He's hoping that Gatti gets reckless and leaves himself open. Oh, there he and that left hook puts Leha back on the canvas for the second time. Seven. Nine, Number four, Artur Gotti versus Leonard Dorf Tank. On July 24, 2004, defending WBC Super Lightweight title Gotti beat Leonard Dorf Tay by knockout at 255 in round two of 12. And there you have it. was as a junior welterweight. Good throw Gaddy has managed to box effectively, keep Leonard Doreen from getting in. Doreen has only gotten Gaddy's rib cage a couple times. But of course, it never stopped him from throwing the punch. It was not a punch landed uh, by Gaddy. Now, was... Gaddy trying to go to the body. Good left hook to the body by Gaddy. And Doreen goes down. What a tremendous shot. And Doreen may not, may not recover. He's not going to make it. Arturo Gatti has knocked out Leonard Doreen with a body shot. Number three, Arturo Gatti versus Joey Gamache. 
On February 26, 2000, Gotti beat Joey Gamash by knockout at 0-41 in round two of ten. Gotti starting out with a good jab. Turo has wasted very little time in getting into a toe-to-toe -to -toe position, squaring his shoulders up and just trading shot. Gamash trying to pick his spots, and Flurry, when Gotti stops punching, there's a the experience. He's been around for a long time, so he's not going to be intimidated by the moment. You're going to beat him, you're going to have to physically. He's in Lewiston, Maine, a name with its own colorful place in boxing history, and there's a knockdown. And Thunder Gotti closes in, hoping to finish, and Gamash lands a blistering left hook. Momentarily stopped Gotti in his tracks. He's trying to pull a Gatti. Oh, there's a big left hook by Gatti. Is in effect in New York State. One more knockdown and this will be over. Hold on. You better hold on. Gamash punching back, but giving Gatti a chance to land. Down. Looks like Gamash is going to make it out of the round. Right hands from a distance, even at Cook for Richie. He's also looks so much bigger than he does. Yeah, I mean, he's got a 15-pound weight advantage. That's Every time he lands a shot, it's, it's abundantly clear. And Benji Estevez. Number two, Arturo Gotti versus Teron Millet. On January 26, 2002, Gotti beat Teron Millet by TKO at 2:23 in round four of ten. Before they happen. Hard right hand shot by Gotti. And one thing that's evident is that Gaddy is quicker with his punches. Opponents, the last five fights, Arturo Gaddy has been hit by 60% of his opponent's power punches. He's hard to miss at short range. Shots. Left jab. He's in control. And a left hook to the body sets up a big left hook upstairs. Another left hook to the body lands deep. And again, the uppercut follows, and the left is in trouble as he back out he upstairs. And he lands it with the right hand. The best straight. right hand of the fight. Everybody's attention in his fights against Tracy Patterson. Ooh. Big left hook by Gaddy. The first few punches of the first round he had to recover from. Knockdown as well. Only one knockdown so far, so round three, ten to eight. Four big shots. From the fight is going to get out of his hand. He's mother's just what's happening in the ring. He's, He's got to hold on. You got to hold on. He's in Madison Square Garden. Yep. But I don't think the referee knows where he is. Get hurt. Yeah, this is unnecessary at this point. And that will do. Jim Santa stopping it on what amounts to number one. Arturo Gotti versus Wilson Rodriguez. On March 23, 1996, defending IBF Junior Lightweight title Gotti beat Wilson Rodriguez by knockout at 216 in round six of 12. Time in the fight. Joe Souza with a big job coming up. Gotti goes down. Well down on Rodriguez's right hip. Oh, both fighters will hurt then. You got to do it. Hard right hand over the top by Gotti as he comes out swinging for the knockout. It's going to take some drama to rescue Arturo Gotti's star status here. Come on. With Patterson in December. That's one thing you have to always worry about. In a young fighter. He's showing his will. He's getting that left hook in there. Solid left hook. You saw the straight right land plus for Gotti. Rodriguez targeting the eye. landed more than 60% of their blows in round oh, four. Oh, there's a it's shot. The kind gone by now. Straight right hand. There he Down goes. goes Rodriguez. What a left hook. He won't make it up from that. No way. Arturo Gotti. Oh, about that. Thank you.
you for watching.